Hello and welcome. Here is Anne Christiansen, and today I'm here with Nanu Violet, and uh, we met in Vienna, in Austria, actually in a white belt training. And I was very curious about you, since you are French, and you live in China. And being outside of my own home country, Sweden, for so many years, and living in Germany and doing many things abroad, I immediately felt a connection. And the connection also came through when we moved to the Nia Music together. And today, I want to have a short interview with you and to ask you, what is it about Nia that <coughs> has um, catched you? What is the motivation to move the Nia movements or that makes you motivated to come back again and again to this practice, Nanu? Um, hi, Anne. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. So um, to answer your question, it's you, actually, because my very first uh, our in Nia, it was uh, in China with a South African teacher, actually, Debbie Lee. Hi, I love you. <laughs> She's awesome. And um, the routine was joy. So it's your fault <laughs> that I fell in love with Nia. And um, what um, made me come back again is the feeling I had after one hour of dancing, I felt like a dancer. I mean, the, the combo between the mu music and the movements and the fact that she said, joy, enjoy, and it's your body's way. And she showed us the levels and I, s I was able to adapt the movement to my body, my way of feeling the music, of doing it. And the feeling I had at the end of that hour was awesome. I was like, oh my God, I accomplished something and I felt good. So I came back again and it was another routine and it felt the same. So yeah, that's the, the feeling of Nia is awesome. And the philosophy like natural time and it's your body's way it's awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sure you had a great time with a wonderful teacher who started the uh, Nia movement in uh, China at that moment. And yes, of course, the joy routine. When, when it catches you, it catches you. And uh, what I love about particularly that routine is, of course, the playlist, that the music is so different, that we go from jazzy music to swing music to very ambient music. And that awesomeness that you say, I feel how Nia is, is almost a mystery that I can move for an hour and I train my whole body in my body's way and I get the benefit from fitness. But I feel, like you say, like a dancer. I was the same. I felt like Bambi on ice. I was very uncoordinated on land and felt good in the water. And through Nia, I have some sort of uh, sense of coordinating my left and my right side. <laughs> yeah, oh wow, what a motivation. And then you came and you took the white belt in real, actually together with your husband. So there you are also unique. You, you, you made a commitment together. You came and, and shared this experience. Do you want to share anything about that? Yes. Um it began with uh, retreats, actually, Nia retreats with the same Devili. Uh, she do uh, retreats in Cambodia, and it was a very, very beautiful place. So uh, my husband, who has never done Nia before, he said, well, I can go with you, and it's going to be like some vacation, and I'm going to stay by the pool, and you're going to dance, and then we, we can be tourists together. And uh, it was our first time in Cambodia. So it started like that. But then he was he, he shifted from staying by the pool to I'm going to dance because I like the rhythm, I like the music. And then he did the whole retreat 
so that was awesome to, to feel that as a couple. And actually doing the white belt together was his idea. I know some girls are going to be jealous, but yes, it's true. It's his idea. He said, well, it's in Vienna, so we can go um, spend a week with the Nia white belt and then another week to be tourists. So what do you think? I was like, yeah, of course. So yeah, it was kind of special to experience that with him. And now, even though he's not doing the green, the blue, the brown yet, uh, we can still talk about it. And he understands what I'm talking about. Uh, so it's, it's, yeah, it's nice to have someone to talk about that in a deeper way because he knows the stuff he knows Nia and sometimes he's like yeah let's do a routine let's dance together and it's his idea so it's it's nice well th thank you for modeling uh, that manifestation of having a partner that shares the passion and the interest in a way and I think that is uh, absolutely um, something to strive for and I know many women who find Nia and they say I wish my partner but somehow they change when they dance the Nia so the partner will still say go and do that dance thing you come back with such a, a good mood so so I think we have that worldwide and you know finally I also want to cover in this interview your experience about taking the belt in real, but now you have jumped on taking my trainings online and how your experience is to take the training online. Like I'm here in Hamburg, you are in, in China and we can meet every week for two hours and then you have a week to assimilate the material and, and if you can let us in how that fills your spirit and, and what it does to your mind and, and anything, anything you want to give us from that experience. So it's, it's really, it's different, but I think it's complementary. Um, what I like about the online is the week long that we have to really go with one principle and apply it to one routine or to our life and uh, read the material, listen to the podcast, do it on our natural time the pod calls are awesome like we have a connection with the one in our pod call it's we share we learn uh to know each other and i've never met those <laughs> persons but we share some pretty deep stuff during 16 weeks every week so i really like that about the online and the time that we have to go deeper with the material so that's the awesome part of online. Um, you are doing a fantastic job <laughs> because yes, um, yeah, it, your classes are really enjoyable. You mix the talk with the movement, um, the uh, learning part to the doing part. Um, it's really well crafted it's really enjoyable and uh, like some uh, of my classmates said in in the class we can rewind the um, the lesson and go deep into what she said listen again it's really the online is really a really good format for nia but then the in-person experience it's also an awesome um energy because we are creating really the space for Nia because we have to journey to where the Nia retreat is, the Nia belt is. So we are putting ourselves in the Nia mind for one week and it's um, often disconnected from the kids, the family, our surrounding, we are not in our home. Uh, so the energy is different in person. So I think that my journey will be first online to go deep, to really understand the complexity, the principles, 
and then do in person to enjoy the energy and um, all that condensate belt in one week. So the two format is perfect for Nia, I think. Oh, wow. Well, thank you, Nanu. You hold a great vision. Over a year ago, when everything started, I was very unsure if whatever we had experienced live was um, transportable to this format. But hearing you uh, speaking so abo uh, about it, that it touches you in both ways, um, that makes me have great faith in the future. And I know that you and I, we will keep connecting across the globe. And uh, this winter we have met so many times over uh, the two trainings that you have jumped into. And I will cast the moment where we can meet in person again. But thank you so much for your kind uh, compliments regarding the online training. And uh, I will say this, I, I see you very soon and uh, I'm I'm very glad that we could share this information with my, oh, excuse me, with my viewers. So thank you so much for coming thank on. Thank you for asking me. <laughs> yeah, and we will say bye bye, and uh, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Anne. Bye.